Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. My name is Letia B. And today's video is actually gonna be very simple. I just really wanna show y'all my favorite protective style and also how I'm able to um, wear it in a different style once I get tired of wearing it how it is. So my hair is freshly washed and deep conditioned and I use the Curls Caviar, excuse me, the Curls Cashmere and Caviar Collection um, hair bath and um, hair mask to do that. I'm also going to be styling my hair with products from that line as well. So I'm going to be using um, the Hair Silk, the Hair gel, and also the Hair Serum. Now I have done a full review on these products previously, so I'll be sure to link it above, but I decided to use these products because they work so well in my hair and I figured they would be really good for this style. So the protective style that I'm going to do is I'm just gonna do twists. Um, so they'll be like medium sized twists. I don't really wanna do mini twists and I don't wanna really do chunky twists either. So I'm gonna do medium sized twists and make sure you stay until the end because there will be a bonus hairstyle included. I'm done installing the twist. They're looking real nice, real juicy like. <laughs> um, it took me about an hour, hour and a half to install all of them, which is a pretty good amount of time. Like that's a long time, but it is definitely worth it for me because I plan on keeping them, keeping them in for like five to seven days because my hair really needs a rest from manipulation. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Let me know if y'all like to do twists or what your go-to protective style is down in the comment section. And don't forget to stay tuned until the end of this video. After seven days, I decided that I wanted to go ahead and take out the twist. So I started out by using the hair serum and applying just a few dots all over my hair. After adding the hair serum, I went ahead and started to unravel the twist by starting in the back and working my way to the front. The ends of the twist in the front of my hair were really weird, so yeah, I'm gonna just have to fix that later. After finishing taking out all the twists, y'all can see how bomb the definition was. Like, I really feel like this combination and especially adding the hair gelée really made a difference in making sure that my style held well and also made a difference in um, adding in the definition. Now that my hair is completely unraveled, I'm going to go ahead and start fluffing my favorite part. Here you can see the drastic difference between the side that I have fluffed out and the side that I have not. The slide that I haven't fluffed out, although it has a lot of definition, is really flat and y'all know I like my hair really big. After unraveling all of the twists and fluffing my hair, I went ahead and took my pick and fluffed it out some more.
now that that's finished, I went ahead and took my Curls Passion Fruit um, Edge Control and I added that to the side of my hair just to give it a nice sleek look on the side. And this is the final look. If you like the way my hair turned out, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to comment down below and tell me what your favorite protective style is. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can hit that subscribe button and then hit the notification bell that pops up after you do that so that you can be notified for any new videos that I post. And before I go, I just want to give a shout out to Gail. I do believe that is how you pronounce your name, G-A-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. If I mispronounced it, I do apologize. But I do want to give a shout out to you for answering the question in my design essentials video. I asked why do I focus on the ends of my hair and you are the only person that answered and you answered correctly so shout out to you. If you want to be shouted out in my next video y'all don't forget to be active on my channel and on my Instagram page you can find me at so dazzling and yeah you could be shouted out in my next YouTube video. But anyway with that being said y'all I will see y'all in my next one and do not forget to stay dazzling. Thank you.